What's up my beautiful friends, it's Eddie here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. I hope that you guys are doing fantastic. Are you guys ready to talk about a new doll line? I hope so because that's what we're going to be doing today. Today we will be taking a look at Naturalistas. If you guys have not heard of Naturalistas, Naturalistas is a new line of black fashion dolls that are meant to celebrate um, the beauty of having natural hair and I'm super excited to see them in person. I have three of them to share with you guys today. I still have them in their boxes, their shipping boxes, because this is a first impressions video and I of course wanted to capture my initial reaction to them on camera so that you guys can see my genuine reaction to them. Um, I'm so excited to see them you guys. I know that they were available for pre-order for months and they looked absolutely gorgeous online so I'm hoping that they're just as beautiful in person. I did get four of them but I only have three with me as of now because the fourth one is still on her way to me. But these dolls are selling out like crazy you guys which makes me really happy because it lets you know that the doll line is doing really well so I'm super excited for them but it's also you know hard when you're trying to collect all of them. I also don't like the fact that like two of them are exclusive to Walmart. I just don't like when there's like exclusive exclusives to like only certain stores because then it's just it drives us collectors crazy because we're trying to collect all of them. <laughs> yeah, for now we're going to be taking a look at three of them and I hope that you guys are ready. And I'm sorry I'm talking so much already. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's just go ahead and open these ladies up. They did ship them out to me in individual boxes. And I'm guessing that's just because some of them were only available at certain warehouses and whatnot. But let's go ahead and see who we have here. Okay. Packaging, we'll just set it to the side. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. I love this packaging. Wow. So, right here, I have the first one. This is Leah or Lia, Leia, I don't know. It's spelled L I Y A. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to call her Leah because. I like Leah, <laughs> but holy shit, you guys, she is so gorgeous. I love the packaging. Right off the bat, I love the packaging. So first, I'm going to go ahead and open up the two other dolls, and then I'll go ahead and take them out of the actual packaging, if that makes any sense. So let's just go ahead and open the second one here. Sorry, this video is going to be kind of long, you guys, but I really wanted to capture my reaction on camera. Who do we have here? <gasps> this is Kelsey and oh my god you guys, she is so striking. Wow. So let's go on to the last one and yeah, the packaging alone gets a 10 out of 10 for me. And here is the last one. This is Paige. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. She is such a pretty doll, holy shit. Sorry I keep cussing by the way. <laughs> I just took these two out of the box a few moments ago so I'm ready to share with you guys my opinion on these dolls. But first, let me uh, show you guys the packaging. So this right here is Kelsey. She is absolutely gorgeous and this is what the packaging for Naturalistas looks like. It's very simple you guys but I love the color schemes. I think it's really glamorous and it looks really high end in my opinion. Uh, their backdrop is pink and then they have gold letters and white here. It's just it's so glamorous you guys It looks really fancy. So here we have like a gold crown right here. It says naturalistas. I'm Kelsey Love the pink with the gold and the white. It just looks really really cool and really fancy um, In the back of the box it tells you a little bit of a story of your doll And it also tells you the type of hair that your doll has because they all have different types of hair this one, as you can see, has 4B and her hairstyle is a blowout. Sorry, I had to look at that for a second. So yeah, there's her cute artwork. And then right here, we have the other girls available in this line. This is not all of them. There's a total of seven. And then at the bottom here, we have a picture of the creator of this doll line. And it tells you um, pretty much her inspiration behind creating this doll line. So it's really simple packaging but it's also really glamorous and I absolutely love it. So these are the two lovely ladies that we will be taking a look at. These are the ones that I have already unboxed off camera. We have Paige here and we have Leah. We're gonna start off with Leah because Leah just 
takes my breath away every time I see her. She is so beautiful. Look at how gorgeous Miss Leah is. And she has so much hair, you guys. Her hair type is 4C and her hairstyle is stretched. She is just so gorgeous, you guys. I hope that you guys can see how beautiful this doll is. And they do have a bit of makeup on, but they did such a great job choosing their colors that it almost looks very natural. I love it. Love that dark colored lipstick that they chose for her. And she does have little earrings on, as you can see. But oh my gosh, you guys, her hair feels absolutely incredible. It's like an Afro style hair. It is so, so gorgeous, you guys. And her skin tone is just absolutely breathtaking. So gorgeous. And she is wearing a mini blue dress that says Naturalistas on it, which I'm not too crazy about. And then um, she is holding a little blue clutch here that again says Naturalistas. I wish that it didn't. And then her shoes right here, she has like these really simple brown high heels. These dolls, as you can see, have a massive feet, you guys. They have really, really big feet, so they definitely can't share shoes with other dolls. And they also have massive hands. But you know what? I actually like this a lot because it makes them really unique and it just gives them a bit more of a realistic and natural uh, feature. I, I love it so much. What do you guys think of the big feet and the big hands? I love them. And her dress does Velcro at the back. And as you guys can see, these dolls are not articulated. They can move their arms in and out and their legs don't have any articulation, but you can sit them. So they do have articulation at the waist. But this right here is Leah. I love her so much, you guys. And she is definitely my favorite so far. This right here is Miss Paige and she is super adorable you guys. She has her curly hair in like this little side ponytail and her hair type is 3C and her hairstyle is wash and go ponytail. Uh, it's hard to see on camera but if you hold her close to the sun she kind of has like a really light brown hair color that almost looks red in the sun. So that's really, really cool. She does, of course, have makeup on as well. But again, they did such a great job choosing the makeup where it doesn't look like it's too much makeup on. It just looks just perfect, you guys. Such pretty colors. It almost looks very natural. She is wearing silver hoop earrings. They're really cool. And... She is definitely the girly girl of the group. <laughs> uh, she's just a lot of fun. She is wearing um, a silver dress that again has naturalistas on it, which I wish that it didn't. <laughs> and here on the side, it has like a random opening. I don't hate it, but I'm also not crazy about it. I can totally see what sort of look they were going for, but I'm not too, too crazy about it. Also, her dress does shed a lot of glitter, which I'm not too crazy about. Glitter is just really annoying. It's not the end of the world. Like, it doesn't make the dress super awful, but glitter is really annoying. So I wish that it didn't shed. Um, she is holding a little pink clutch here that says Naturalistas, just like Leah's. And to match that, she has pink high heels. And they are the exact same heels that Leah is wearing, but hers, of course, are hot pink. So I say that she's definitely the girly girl of the group. And she is just so cute, you guys. She's definitely the cutie pie out of all of them, from what I can see. She's just really, really cute. So as you guys can see, they have two completely different skin tones, which I absolutely love. I'm glad that they didn't just give us, you know, a one skin toned type of doll. So yeah, the diversity is definitely there. These dolls are just so beautiful, you guys. Let's talk about the pros and the cons, although I'll tell you right off the bat that there's more pros than cons. What I love about these dolls, without a doubt, are the face and the hair. They have so much freaking hair, you guys, and the quality of the hair is just gorgeous. They all have different types of hair. Um, these dolls retail for $12.99, which is so insane to me because I could totally see these going for like $16.99 or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, I think the price is just so affordable and just so right. Such a, such a good price for what you're getting. These dolls have such a pretty face. Like, there's still no denying, you guys. These dolls are so, so, so beautiful. So cute. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to be upset that they are not articulated. I personally am not mad at it. I don't necessarily have to have an articulated doll for me to love her. 
Is it harder to pose them and to photograph them? Yes, for sure, but I also don't feel like it's necessary to have every single doll out there, uh, you know, be articulated. For me, it's not like, you know, a huge deal. For me, the biggest critique that I have for these dolls are the clothes. The clothes are not hideous at all. They're actually really modern and really fresh and very, um, you know, up to date with fashion. They're wearing something that I could totally see on Fashion Nova, Shein, um, H&M. I mean, you name it. This is totally something an Instagram influencer would wear on a night out or something. But I just don't like the fact that they have naturalistas. Um, you know, going across the chest of these dresses. I also don't like the fact that the wallet accessories um, have naturalistas on it as well. I just feel like that was super unnecessary. They should have just left them plain, in my opinion, or have given it um, a different sort of like design or logo. I also don't like the fact that they all have the ex the, the exact same um, style of shoe. Like it's literally the same shoe molds, just in different colors. I do think they could have, you know, given each doll a different type of shoe. But yeah, you guys, they're pretty sturdy dolls. Um, they feel a little bit heavier than a Barbie fashionista. A lot of people are also comparing these dolls to the Fresh dolls. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the Fresh dolls, but the Fresh dolls are also a line of um, colored dolls, and they're also really, really cute. The Fresh dolls are so pretty, you guys. They're super pretty, but... I cannot stand their clothes. They have such boring and outdated clothes. Their clo the clothing on the Fresh Dolls are just really, really outdated. They're just really like plain looking and you know, and I love them so much and I'll continue to buy the Fresh Dolls, but their clothes just are not up to date. And um, these definitely are. Like I said, this is such an Instagram baddie look. <laughs> I hope I'm not sounding so annoying saying that, but it really is something that, you know, a modern girl would wear to a night out at the club or something so the naturalistas definitely have the fashion on point they can definitely still work on it but they do have um, a very modern look to them whereas the fresh dolls yeah they need to update the clothes so i'm so excited to have these dolls finally in my house they were available for pre-order for months and i kept seeing them and I am not disappointed. They are just as beautiful as their stock photos. I hope that they continue to work on the clothes. I hope that they don't shed glitter. I hope that they'll remove the whole naturalistas thing. Um, it's just not necessary. But other than that, you guys, I love these dolls so much. And especially Leah. Leah holds such a um, such a big place in my heart. She's so beautiful, you guys. Like, I cannot deal with how gorgeous they all are. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Naturalistas, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.